So the first thing we want to do is sanitize both you and your client's hands. First you want to push back the cuticle towards the epinicium and remove any loosened cuticle from the nail plate. Then I'm going to use a 240 grit exact file to shape the free edge of the natural nail. You want to make this as oval as possible so that you can follow the natural nail smile line. And we're going to use the artistic effect buffer, the 180 grit side to remove the shine from the natural nail. You want to remove any of the dust with a nylon brush. We're going to use Artistic's Nail Surface Cleanser on a lint-free wipe and scrub the nail to remove any oil or debris that can be left behind. Then we're going to use the pH Nail Prep to remove any moisture in the upper layers of the nail so you have the best adhesion. Now we're going to use our non-acid primer, the Rock Hard Opening Act, and just lightly moisten the nail plate. It's completely safe for the skin, but you want to make sure to keep it away from the skin as much as possible. So now we're going to show you how to do a one color sculptured LED gel extension. I'm going to start using Pink Rocker. You can use either Pink Rocker, Groupie, or Headliner, whatever your client's preference is. Pink Rocker is just a really beautiful bright pink directly to the nail plate to give it that really beautiful bright pink color. And then we're going to cure in our Pro 30 LED light for 30 seconds. So when using your brush on gels, you can do one coat, two coats, three coats, whatever your client preference is so that they get the exact color on the nail bed that they want. This is my second coat of Pink Rocker just to give a nice bright color to the nail bed compared to her natural nail color. And again, curing that for 30 seconds. So now we're gonna use our Rock Hard Get Bent Nail Form. You want to remove the form from the paper, place the tab on the back. This gives you more strength to the nail form. Then you're going to roll it between your thumbs and apply it by placing one side under the nail, the other side, and sliding it right underneath up to the hyponychium. And you're going to lay it back. You want to look at the form from underneath. Press your tabs together. Make sure they're exact so that the lines on top where you're going to follow to create your extension. You want to make sure those lines are straight so make the tab exact on the bottom. Then you want to make sure that your tab is together at the top making sure that the nail form is in place. So now we're going to take our artistic number nine gel oval brush and the hardcore clear building gel. You can use clear or pink, whatever your client's preference is. And we're going to start with the extension. You want to pick up a large bead of gel and place it on the apex area. Then you want to use a lint-free wipe to clean any excess gel from your brush. Use your brush flat. Float the brush right on top of the bead and direct the product towards the cuticle area, as well as guiding the product down the form to create your extension. You want to avoid pressing down into the gel. This can create air bubbles. So you want to just float the brush right on top of the gel and guide it into place. You want this first application to be thin so that we can allow the product to be flexible during curing so that we can press in a nice C-curve. So you're going to flash cure this for 10 seconds. Then when you remove it, you want to press in the product on each side to create your C-curve. Now we're going to flash cure for another 20 seconds. So now we're going to remove the nail form. 
You want to be careful when removing that because this is a thin application. And so then you want to just hold that C-curve in place for about five more seconds. Now the C-curve and that arch in the nail is going to give the nail a lot of strength so that you can wear the product very thin. You can also use your artistic C-curve stick and place underneath to make sure that the C-curve is straight. For our second application, we want to place another large bead right at the apex. Again, slide that right onto the apex of the nail. Clean your brush with a lint-free wipe. Again, guiding the product up towards the cuticle and remembering that the apex of the nail or the center right at the separation line is where you want the majority of your product. So you're just going to float the product around the surface to create the proper structure. Curing that for 30 seconds. So you want to press in the sides of your extension and if you feel that the product is still flexible, you want to add another bead of product. So now I'm going to use the Nail Surface Cleanser on a lint-free wipe. And basically I'm just going to go over the nail and I'm actually going to hold in that C-curve. What this does is it actually locks in the C-curve because the little bit of warmth from the light and the cool from the Nail Surface Cleanser will actually cool that C-curve down and put it right into place. Then you want to clean the inhibition layer from all over the nail before you begin the fire. When you're filing an LED gel, you want to be sure to never use a file any heavier than the 180 grit aspect file. So the first step in our filing method is filing the free edge. So you want to shape this to either be square, round, or oval, whatever your client's preference. The second step would be your sidewalls. You want to be sure to file straight out from the side so that it looks like the extension grew off of the natural nail. The third step is going to be the left side. Again, filing straight out from the natural nail line so it looks like the product grew right off her finger. Step four and five is your lower arch, so you want to hold the nail up and actually look from the side to make sure that you have a straight line coming from her natural nail line. You'll notice the way I hold my thumb and my fingers to pull the skin down to avoid the file coming in contact with the skin. Same thing on the other side, pull the skin down. So now that we filed the perimeter of the nail, we're going to start with the surface. Again, you don't want to use a file that's any heavier than a 180 grit aspect file. You want to take the file around the cuticle area, around the sides, following the cuticle line, and down into that same straight sidewall. Again on the other side, around the cuticle area, holding the file flat to the nail, and then around the side and straight down into a straight line. Remember to use a soft touch and let the grit on the file do all of the work for you. So again, we're gonna come up the side, around, and down towards the center. Up the other side, around, and down. So you'll notice that the center of the nail or the apex has never been filed, so that's gonna be the final step, is blending those pieces together to finish off the top of the nail. A very nice soft touch as you're filing this area. Again, when you look at it from this side, you want it to be thin at the back, thin at the tip, and the thickest point right at your apex area where the stress line is. 
Again, looking down the barrel of the nail, you're gonna see the C-curve, and that's what's gonna provide your strength. Remove any of the dust with a nylon manicure brush. Now you've completed the filing method for your rock hard LED gel clear extension, and you can finish this clear extension in multiple ways. One way you can finish your rock hard LED gel extension is by finishing it with one even coat of headliner brush on gel. This is a clear brush on gel that you just want to apply evenly and liberally across the nail. Now we're gonna cure in our Artistic Pro 30 LED light for 30 seconds. Now you're gonna use the Nail Surface Cleanser. On a lint-free wipe, you wanna cleanse the inhibition layer from the nail and clean underneath as well. Then you can take your Revive Nail and Cuticle Oil and apply one drop to the nail and massage into the nail and the cuticle area. Another way you can finish your rock hard LED gel extension is by applying your choice of artistic color gloss. For this application, I'm going to use number 3058 Hot Seed. So when you're applying your artistic color gloss, you want to make sure that you get most of the color off of the brush so that you don't apply too much. So you want to take from the stem, take the product off all the way down till you get to the bottom, and then you just want to bring product on one side of the brush and go to do your application. You can apply the color gloss directly to the finished filed LED gel extension. Remember to place it very thin on the nail. You want to use the corner of the brush to create a straight line, cover the surface completely, making sure to seal the free edge. You want to cure your artistic color gloss in your Artistic Pro 30 LED lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to apply the second coat of Hotsey. Remember your coats need to be nice and thin to avoid the product wrinkling. The light must penetrate through the product completely in order for it to cure. Remember to seal the free edge. You want to cure your artistic color gloss in your Artistic Pro 30 LED lamp for 30 seconds. Now we're gonna apply our Artistic Color Gloss Soak Off Glossing Gel and you wanna seal the entire color gloss application around the cuticle and seal the free edge and then cure that in your Artistic Pro 30 LED light for 30 seconds. So now we're going to use the Nail Surface Cleanser on a lint-free wipe to cleanse the color gloss glossing gel and remove the inhibition layer. And for our final step, revive nail and cuticle oil. One drop on the nail, rub it into the cuticle area and surrounding skin.